Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to tell you a few vegan foods that you can eat to get quick energy. Now, I know a lot of you may imbibe in energy drinks, which I don't. I have no desire to, and I honestly never will. But what if you could find some energy boosters that are healthy foods that give you the same type of surge of energy, but not being caffeinated? Or full of things that could be harmful for you now some of these you may not have heard of and some of them you may have and not know the benefits but I'm going to tell you what each of these are and how you can incorporate them into your daily regimen that burst of energy that you need but before I get started be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my other videos on faith health and beauty all year round now, food provides you energy in the form of calories, as you know, which is a measure of energy. But different foods can give your energy levels more of a punch and affect you, impact you differently. So, there are three macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Car gives you the quickest energy source, and it's really the body's favorite source of energy. And carbs come in two forms, simple and complex. Simple carbs are like white bread, candy, fruit, juice, refined, and so forth. And complex carbs, on the other hand, contain fiber, and they take longer for the body to digest. And some of those examples of complex carbs are beans, oats, and whole grains. So now, what are some of the best foods that you can eat for that quick surge of energy that's going to be healthy for you as well? Well, the first thing is maca root. Now, maca is the type of Crispus vegetable that's native to Peru and now it's been taken and dried and ground and made into a powder. You can find it at almost any health food store. Why should you try it? Well, some studies indicate that maca has a positive impact energy and stamina as well as a good effect on memory and focus. And it is considered a superfood. Again, you can find it in powder or capsule form with powder filled capsules I should say and make sure that you get 100% maca preferably non-gmo preferably organic it can come raw as well look for the instructions on the package about what to start with I always recommend starting low and see if you get the effects you want instead of going to the highest dosage first now before reading maca not only read the directions and follow the directions, but also check with your physician to see if there's something you should be trying. Number two is coconut oil. Now it's made from fresh coconut flesh and that's what you really want to get. It's one of the most healthiest known fats in the world. I recommend always getting the unrefined coconut oil cold press preferably. It smells delicious, it tastes delicious, I can just eat it out of the jar as it is. Now temperatures about as low as 78 degrees Fahrenheit, coconut oil liquefies. It has a higher smoke point as well of about 350 degrees, so it's a great option all around. It's easy for the body to digest and it helps you produce sustained energy. And some studies show that when taking a high quality unrefined coconut oil is medium chain fatty acids or MCFAs are sent directly to the liver to be converted into energy. So you can make a homemade energy drink by just adding unrefined coconut oil to a smoothie. You can also simply take one tablespoon of it and consume it preferably 30 minutes before you eat or even 30 minutes before exercise. There's so many ways to incorporate coconut oil into your day to get that burst of energy. You can put it in tea via coconut milk, canned coconut milk, which I do. The third is butternut squash. Now, a lot of people kind of have turned off by the idea of eating it because of how it looks and how hard it is before you cut it open. But it has an incredible amount of nutritional value. One serving contains over half the recommended intake of vitamin C plus lots of daily fiber. And the orange squash, of course, is a phytonutrient. And it can be 
roasted, it can be steamed, it can be baked, it can even be eaten raw, sliced thinly. And studies show that squash helps decrease fatigue and increase performance of your exercise routine if you choose to use it. I again recommend eating organic butternut squash. I keep it on in a bowl on the table outside of the refrigerator. But once I cut it, and if I don't use it all, I place the remainder of it in the refrigerator so it doesn't spoil. Make sure on the table you place it in an area out of direct sunlight because that tends to make it ripen quickly. You can cut it into cubes, which is the best way to steam it and bake it. Some people like to cut it open down the middle, remove the seeds, and then roast it or bake it in the oven. I find it takes too long to cook that way, so I steam it, and then I use it in soups. I put it in salads. I also use recipes from the Blue Zones cookbook for the squash. And the fourth one that I really highly recommend are purple potatoes, specifically Japanese purple sweet potatoes. They are a root vegetable that belongs to the nightshade family, but they also are in the same category as the sweet potato where it's orange, white, or any other color. It has lots of polyphenols, anthocyanins, insoluble fiber that can help provide a time release effect during your day. They also have electrolytes like potassium, and it contains 341 milligrams of potassium per half cup serving, which is 10% of the daily recommended volume. They have a beautiful violet color, and you can eat them raw, you can bake them, you can steam them, you can saute them, you can bake them in the oven. They're just really versatile. I prefer to do a Blue Zones cookbook says, I steam them lightly for 10 minutes, and then I toss them with coconut milk, salt, and pepper. One of the best things you'll ever taste. I also like eating them raw, and you also can take the purple sweet potatoes, cut them in half, put them in your rice cooker, and steam them, and they're a delicious treat. Some people like to take supplements. I really don't for energy. I would recommend matcha green tea if you have it. It boosts energy, helps you fight fatigue, helps balance stress and promotes positivity. It also has so many other benefits from the green tea and it tastes delicious. And I like mixing it with coconut milk when I do make it. But if you're a purist, you can look for some directions online on how to prepare matcha green tea the way it's done in Japan. And I'm sure it's gonna taste much better than what I recommend. So which of these foods do you already eat for energy? Which do you think you'd be willing to try? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Thanks so much for watching my specials. Continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time.